Hey guys, welcome to another video on Keto's Diary. Uh, we are still discussing on um, Canada visa and uh, how to come to Canada as a student and we're working our way through. We are still in the student phase uh, as per the videos and um, I hope all of you are fine. I hope you are um, safe. Uh, so it's lockdown all over the world and um, that's no reason why I'm putting up a video. I am I am putting up a video because uh, this is another highly requested video. Um, there was certain information that I did want to uh, uh, share with you and I'm done with that. So these uh, upcoming videos will basically be just answering your questions. Um, I uh, Another highly requested video um, on my channel is um, expenses or how to uh, manage your monthly expenses here in St. John's uh, as a student. So I'm going to talk about that. Now on this video, I'm not going to talk about how you can earn money or how to find a part-time job. We've already spoken uh, well in detail about it. Uh, in this episode, I'm only going to talk to you about expenses on how much uh, I spend on an average in a month uh, and how much a student who who isn't very thrifty is going to need uh, on an average. Uh, mind you, I I'm not a spendthrift at all. I am not a shopaholic. I'm I'm very good with balancing my finances. Maybe my tips might help you uh, manage your finances better. Um, so if you are a very uh, lavish uh, spending person, this video might not be of use to you. Anyways, let's uh, dive into the video. I've got my notes here. I did sit and prepare for it because um, I didn't want to misinform anybody. Uh, I do have my notes uh, just here. So if I'm looking down, uh, you're just going to know that I'm looking down on my notes. So um, let's uh, run through monthly expenses. Uh, so the first thing I've written here is my grocery bill. Now, again, I do eat good quality food, but then I don't spend a lot on groceries. Uh, I usually go to Walmart because uh, in comparison, Walmart has very affordable um prices here uh i'm not saying that uh the other stores are not good it really depends on what i want for a weekly grocery uh that covers all my essentials like bread eggs and milk these are the most important things i buy every week um so for this i usually go to walmart and uh i'm not a very uh non-vegetarian eating person um so my diet um includes a lot of vegetables uh, i usually go and buy vegetables that are cheaper and if they are on sale um, the ones that you usually get here in st john's is cabbage carrots turnips um, potatoes um, so i've kind of managed to um, work with these recipes so i usually go to walmart to get my groceries uh, I do eat a lot of snacks and I'm not guilty about it. Uh, I cannot survive without cookies or biscuits. Um, I do buy chips packets um, now and then, uh, not all the weeks. Um, so for that, I go to Dollarama. Um, and uh, I anything uh, that's related to uh, topical application on my body like lotions or uh, body washes and all those kind of toiletry items I go to Walmart I don't compromise on that because um, it's just a it's just my personal opinion that Walmart has better products again this is not a sponsored video <laughs> uh, I just like Walmart that's the conclusion of what I'm trying to say now there's another thing that I want to bring into your consideration is that I live with roommates I don't live in my own apartment I've mentioned about that too in some of the videos especially when I have disturbances uh, I've always let you know that it's my roommate, so I don't live by myself. We lived in a shared, apart a shared apartment, uh, which means um, our bills are split four ways or how many ever ways, depending on the roommates. Uh, this definitely works cheaper than uh, on-campus uh, residence. So I'm going to talk based on off-campus uh, residence and based on roommates. Now, there's four of us in this house. So um, many things are split four ways. We do share some of our groceries. Uh, I do uh, split my groceries uh, by half with uh, one of my roommates. We do uh, combined cooking. Uh, so 
that works out very very cheap for me so i wouldn't uh really know how it'll work for people who come as a family but we'll cover on that a little bit further in this video uh so like i said uh we do split our groceries two ways or four ways based on what we're sharing so that comes up to fifty dollars a week but then since it's split into two uh that's around twenty five dollars a week for me so in a month i spend around hundred dollars just for my groceries uh again this is not an exact amount there are weeks where i like to buy something extra there are weeks that i don't at all go to the store based on what stays in my cupboard so um i can't quite say that this is a fixed amount now the next thing that's on my list is the apartment like i said it's an off campus uh housing which means it's a complete apartment that's shared by four people uh so we split the rent four ways again that works out cheaper for us and i don't do uh, a pou which means uh the utility and hydro and uh, heat and internet everything is included in my um apartment rent um so that works out very economically for me so i spend on an average of um 400 to 500 dollars uh, a month on the apartment and my utilities i'm also including my phone bill now i have the um, the cheapest uh, plan on my phone it's only uh, calls and texts i usually use uh, the wifi that that's connected uh, for all of us in this house or i use public wifi if i'm outside and i've already saved google maps so i just use the saved maps when i'm going out and navigating on my own uh which means that i do save a lot on internet and um i just don't need that much of internet so that's about uh apartment and uh how much i spend on a month the next one is transportation now we've spoken a lot about transportation it's kind of becoming a boring topic so i'm not going to talk about it anymore um like i said um i do take the bus if i'm required to take the bus i walk a lot um at least 75 percent of my commuting is by walk uh it it solves a lot of purpose first of all i save a lot of money um second of all i get the workout or i get the amount of exercise that my body requires and i do get the chance to step out of the house or um you know get some fresh air so since walking is one of my favorite things to do in general i kind of um cling on to that habit of mine um there are times when uh, i do take a taxi if it's raining outside or if i'm late um and i've spoken about that as well so i'm not going to really talk a lot about transportation but then i've just uh, kind of roughly added 50 to 80 dollars a month uh for me and uh, one of my roommates has a car so uh, if we are using um the car we do split the gas bill also um when we're using the car so i should put that also into note so that you know that we're not trying to mooch off anybody in the first place and yes when you share with a uh, with your roommates it works out to be much more economical especially when you're a student and if your part-time jobs are not really fulfilling that amount of money that you need for a month these are ways in which you can combat your expenses the next thing that i've written on my list is clothes um now i brought a lot of clothes from india and from saudi when i was coming here to uh, canada uh i did invest on a good uh winter jacket i've got two winter jackets uh one for each winter i've been here for two winters that is an essential here it's almost uh winter for almost 6 months so it's quite important that you do invest on a good jacket but then i do buy clothes based on the seasons based on what i see around based on the occasion uh even as a student you might have to attend a lot of um um formal uh, gatherings so you do need to dress appropriately and that's quite a challenging job especially for people like us coming from different cultures where our formal dressing is completely different from what the people follow here so um not to look odd or awkward i do spend some amount of money on clothes plus i love clothes uh so if 
I'm buying it for that particular occasion. I do buy new ones, but then I do wait for a sale. Um, some of the best stores that I like to shop is Urban Planet, Ardeen, Blue Notes. Uh, this is for uh, the mediocre spenders like us. I don't go for the high-end stores. Uh, so I do wait for a sale. There are times when I've just eyed on a particular piece of clothing and I've waited for a sale and then gone and bought it. So that works perfectly for me. The clothes that I used to wear when I was attending university, um, I used to get it from the thrift store, thrift store or the secondhand store uh, or uh, lightly used clothes. And um, I have, uh, I had some of my friends hand me some of their good clothes. And um, I did um, get a lot of uh, free clothes as well. And I don't feel ashamed to say that um, I've lived a certain way of uh, life, especially when it came to clothing, because my financial situation was like that. Uh, you do know if you go a little further into my videos, you would have known that I did flee from a situation. So I was financially handicapped for a while. So I had to live a very mediocre life and I don't feel ashamed about it because I did do well in life as in I've come up to this stage and um, the way I lived earlier did help me come to where I am and it's good for the environment as well because if you aren't throwing away all your clothes for it to be recycled or if it's not going to the landfill and someone's using it that is good for the environment as well so we got two birds in one stone so that works for me so um clothes was the other expense and i won't lie i do go and buy clothes at least once every two weeks and that's simply because i've been reorganizing my closet based on what's appropriate for me and that does become a necessity here in canada so you'll have to use your discretion on what you want to do. Um, so the next thing that I have on my list is the MCP. So as far as you're a student or as far as you have a good job, you can avail the MCP and you know that the Canadian healthcare is free, which means your scans, your x-rays, your consulting, um, everything is uh, paid by the government. It's free. And I've already spoken about your student insurance. So if you either fall sick or uh, if you want to avail physiotherapy or chiropractors uh, help or whatever, you do have your student um, international student insurance. So again, that's another component uh, of your your monthly expense that you'll be saving because you're not going to really spend anything out of your pocket as far as health is concerned. But uh, for medicines uh, or anything you buy off the counter, you're still going to have to spend money like if you're going to take vitamin tablets or uh, any kind of supplements for those things you're going to um you can't count that in your monthly expenses another thing that i've put here uh, on my list is the stuff that you use now i did talk about groceries um but then we do know as international students we like to uh, cook something that's based off our culture and sometimes getting those ingredients might be difficult and even if it's available it's going to be expensive so uh, what we do is when any of our friends go back to India we always ask them to buy uh, masalas and all the Indian stuff when they come back uh, so that's another way in which you can save money uh, even if your family had to send you a package it does cost a lot so that might not be possible all the time and um, even when we come, I've already talked about this in the previous video. Uh, I'm going to have to say this a lot. <laughs> so I, I did talk about bringing in your Indian stuff when you come for the first time so that you have enough amount to start off with, uh, enough amount of groceries to start off with. So we've spoken about that. But then I've just uh, written those as well. And uh, another thing you can do uh, to save money is... Uh, you don't have to go and buy, like for example, ginger garlic paste. I never buy from outside. It's really expensive in the stores. So ginger is very inexpensive here and garlic as well. So I do take the pain of get uh, prepping all of that in the weekends. And I do make ginger garlic paste and store it in the fridge. And that lasts at least uh, three to four months for me. I do make it in bulk so that I don't have to do it again. Uh, another thing is I... Uh, 
when it comes to meats or when it comes to things that you don't always find in the store what i do is i usually buy and freeze them uh, so it stays in my uh, freezer for the longest time ever like for example curry leaves i just store them in a box and put them in the freezer so uh, and then i throw it uh, into my dishes when i'm cooking and that way i have curry leaves throughout the year and i do save a lot of money i'm just telling for an example so that's another way in which i do um save a lot of money when it comes to my monthly expenses